was a place with all the zip of new Coca-Cola. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4's DLC Nuka World. My name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show us how to acquire the unique alien blaster known as Hub's Alien Blaster. And of course to acquire this weapon you will need the Nuka World DLC installed. Okay so first off we need to come to a place called Hubologist's Camp. This can be found to the south of the Nuka World region. Located, of course, right here on the Pip-Boy map. Once we get here, we need to find and talk to Dara. She is quite easy to find as she is the only one in a spacesuit. Of course, when she asks for help, we want to say yes. All she needs us to do is go and find five more spacesuits. And this is really easy because their locations will be marked on your map. And when we agree to help her, we will be given the new quest, Trip to the Stars. Now, all of the spacesuits can be found within Galactic Zone. So, of course, we need to come here. And if you are having trouble spotting them they will always be found on an animatronic mannequin just like we can see on screen now so once we get all five spacesuits of course we want to head back to Dara who is still at the Harbologist's camp now at this point I would suggest that you save the game because this quest beyond this point gets really buggy a lot of the NPCs get stuck on things or die or don't spawn in the right place so definitely save it before continuing on with the quest but apart from the bugs it's really simple so of course just keep doing the quest and we're gonna skip forward a fair bit so it doesn't matter if anyone dies getting up to this point so don't worry about that but we will get to a point where we get at least Dara and anyone else that survived in the group to the UFO now this isn't the end of the quest but this is the point in the quest in which we receive the weapon if you do want to see how the quest ends I will put that at the end of the video at the very end right at the end like after the outro end because it is the best ending to a quest I have ever seen but for now at this point as soon as we get at least Dara and anyone else that survived to the UFO she will reward us with the hubs alien blood Blaster. And as always, before modding out the weapon and checking out its base stats, I have reduced all my character's special attribute stats to 1. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the weapon. So let's mod this thing out. Let's put on the long barrel. The long barrel gives plus 9 times minimum range, plus 16 times maximum range. It reduces sight spread by 40%, increases minimum spread by 100%, increases max spread by 50%, reduces recoil by 15%, increases VATS cost by 10%, and increases sight time by 3%. Basically makes it a little bit easier to handle and it now shoots in much more of a straight line. Next we're going to be adding the sharp shooter's grip. Again this reduces spread by 15%, reduces recoil by 15%, reduces VATS cost by 15% and increases bash damage by 50%. Again making it easier to get a grip on. Next we're going with the fusion mag modification. Now normally the weapon uses alien blaster rounds as ammunition which can only be found in two places in the game and are of a very limited supply. So of course we want to change the ammunition type to something we can get more of the fusion mag. This changes the magazine size to 63, reduces damage by 0.35. Literally, that's not a percentage, that's the actual number it reduces the damage by. And of course, it now uses the fusion cells as ammunition. And finally, we're going with the standard sights. Forget scopes. This is a pistol. I'm not going to be sniping things with it. This ain't no sneaking weapon. It can't be silenced. It's an energy weapon. No one wants a scope on this. So that's exactly why we're not going to put a scope on it. Sticking with the old standard sights. Plus one times zoom. But as always, you can do whatever you want with your alien blaster. You can even use it for probing if you want. And after Hub's alien blaster has been modded out the way I just did, it has a base energy damage of 49. It now uses the fusion cells as ammunition. Its fire rate is 100. Its range is 203. Its accuracy is 75. Its weight is 3.2 pounds. And its value is 2,992 caps. And as we can see up the top there, Hub's alien blaster plus 100% critical damage and plus 15% critical refill rate. Okay, so Hub's Alien Blaster, what a special and interesting weapon. And I really was hoping for an alien-based weapon in this DLC, given we had Galactic Zone. And although the quest kind of involved Galactic Zone, this isn't how I expected an alien weapon to be delivered to us. Now, besides the original unique Alien Blaster in the base game of Fallout 4, Hub's Alien Blaster is the only other 
slower one in the game. But this one is better because it has a legendary prefix on it, whereas the original Alien Blaster had nothing. It was just unique and special in its own right. Unfortunately though, Hub's Alien Blaster uses the exact same model that the other Alien Blaster has in Fallout 4, which is rather depressing given that Bethesda reskinned the Alien Blaster from Fallout 3, and it is in Fallout 4's Nuka World, the animatronic aliens in Galactic Zone wield this reskinned Fallout 3 Alien Blaster. So they'd already gone to the effort of remaking the model, but then they gave Hub's Alien Blaster the old model that's already been used in Fallout 4, when again they already had this second design ready to go, they just didn't use it. Yeah, I don't know what they did there. I guess that you could say that idea got blasted away. It may have just been too alien for them. So anyway, Hub's Alien Blaster is, as we know it, a unique alien blaster with the legendary prefix Lucky, which gives plus 100% critical damage, so it doubles the critical damage done, and the critical meter also refills 15% faster. So of course this gun is best used with a critical slash luck build, delivering much more devastating blows with each critical shot, and at the same time filling that critical meter 15% faster, which I think actually sounds better than it is. Let's just say for example that it takes 8 VATS hits for you to fill your critical meter, well with this 15% boost it's going to take 7 VATS hits. So going down from 8 to 7, it's good, but uh, a plus 15% increase sounds better, even though it's the same thing somehow. Now as we saw it had a base energy damage of 49, and after getting a bunch of perks I got its damage up to 140 energy damage, which is pretty good, like just on the face of it, considering it's a pistol with the ammunition capacity of 63, 140 damage is pretty good. Unfortunately it kind of stops there, at least in regards to the legendary prefix, because although the lucky legendary effect is really good, it's much more useful when applied to a weapon that delivers a kind of one-off super shot, because to be honest you're not going to be executing critical hits that often, and of course you only get the benefit from the legendary effect lucky when you do execute a critical hit. So because of that it's not the best weapon for it to be on, but because it has a legendary effect at all it is better than the original alien blaster. So if you do want to make some kind of astronaut alien build, this is the gun to go with. But overall Hub's alien blaster is just an excellent gun because it's an alien blaster, so at the end of the day it's just a pretty good weapon. It's not amazing but it's not bad, but it's definitely a very interesting collectible, which comes from probably one of my favourite quests in Fallout 4. So now some facts about Hub's alien blaster and I suppose alien blasters in general. When it's using the alien cells as ammunition, the ammunition capacity is 42, which may be a reference to Douglas Adams the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. In this book series, the number 42 is the answer to life, the universe, and everything. So being an alien blaster and quite galactic in nature, paired with the fact that 42 is an incredibly random ammunition capacity, it is highly likely that this is in fact referencing the book. And while we're talking about the ammunition capacity of 42, when you mod it out to use the fusion cells instead of alien rounds, it describes this modification as reducing the ammunition capacity, where in fact it takes it from 42 up to 63, so it increases it. Also in doing so it reduces the damage, but as we saw before it reduces the damage by 0.35 of a damage. It's not a percentage, it's literally that much damage. So the trade off is well worth it, because now you can actually use it continuously. Interestingly though, when you do have the fusion magazine modification on and you reload the alien blaster, it still shows an alien blaster round being loaded into it instead of a fusion cell. Whoa, what's that bloody animation? team up to. If you're feeling a little bit out there and you put the night vision scope on Hub's alien blaster, the HUD overlay and crosshairs are exactly the same as the standard night vision scope, instead of looking alien. Another oversight I assume. Now I'm sure when the aliens landed in Nuka World, they went straight to the factory and said, take me to your Lita. Of course the humans understood, because luckily the alien language it's just universal. And have you ever wanted to turn your enemies into a smoking pile of blue ash? Well, you're in luck because this weapon gives you that hubility. And here it is, Hub's Alien Blaster in action. <laughs>
there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the unique alien blaster known as Hub's Alien Blaster in Fallout 4's DLC, Nuka World. I do hope that this video helped you out in some way and wasn't too probing. Remember, if you want to see the end of the quest, it's at the end of this video, so keep watching. Headphone users, be warned. If you did enjoy this video and you would like to see other videos similar to this one, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This, of course, will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides that I upload. If you think you've ever been abducted by aliens, please feel free to follow me on Twitter. The link can be found in the description or you can search Works on Twitter. And with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here with me. And I will see you very shortly on the Mothership. I'll see you there in a second. Lights! It's amazing! You've done it! Into the spaceship, everyone! We need to run a test of the system. Come inside with us. Visions! I'm seeing visions!